whether I was going to do the video of this, but I honestly don't know if I'll ever make it back out there, and if I do, it'll probably be a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and share what I got while I was there. So here it is. Enjoy. are scared of heights, I highly suggest that you ride passenger in the vehicle that you're in when you're in the Colorado National Monument and then close your eyes while you're riding passenger. <laughs> this is literally, I don't, I'm not even to the visitor center yet, but all you're doing is just climbing up a mountain and the cliff is just straight, straight right beside you, right beside you. Um, when I go hiking, I'm pretty good with heights when I go hiking. I've hiked to the top of plenty of mountain peaks, but for some reason, when I'm in a vehicle, I don't do very well with heights. I feel like I have more control with my feet than I do the vehicle, though I am driving and I'm a careful driving, but oh my goodness, I'm literally going below the speed limit climbing this mountain because it is literally, if the cliff wasn't a big huge drop off, like literally right beside you, it would not be an issue. Yeah. Onward. <laughs> First mon monolith. This one is called Independence Monument. It's pretty cool looking. 
Uh, let's see, what does it say? It appears to be shaped like a tower, but the side view shows that is the remaining piece of a rock wall between Monument Canyon, Canyon and Wedding Canyon. Wow, this is beautiful. Looks a little lopsided. How crazy. Can I walk around this? Yeah. We're going to go look at it. video short because my Jeep going up the mountain at the National Monument started acting really crazy. My battery gauge that I have up here uh, normally stays between 12 and 13. It went all the way up from 19 to 20 and it was just going crazy. I didn't know if my battery was just getting too hot or something. Um, but then my uh, Jeep when I would turn it off and turn it back on because you know stopping to take videos and everything um, it sounded like I was having a hard time cranking up so because I was high up there on the mountain I thought that it was best for me to go ahead and come off the mountain find me an O'Reilly's because of the fact that O'Reilly's my battery is under warranty so I came to O'Reilly's they just ran a test on my battery and my alternator starter and they said everything was fine so he said that because the the air out here is thin or whatever sometimes vehicles you know will, will do stuff like that like they're not getting enough air into the vehicle so but I have two hours to drive right now so hopefully I make it back so I'm going to go ahead and head back. But I'm going to go ahead and share this video with you guys. Anyways. <laughs> 